Hello everyone and welcome to today's DIY video. This is going to be making a little muffin, you know, cupcake liner toy for small birds. I saw this tutorial on a video that was sent on WhatsApp, so unfortunately I don't have the YouTube video to link. But yes, so we're just going to do a nice fun DIY at home. So I've already started a little bit. I took some muffin papers, a couple of them, and then I kind of opened it up, you know, flattened it a bit, and then I cut it every couple, you know, little lines, and you mustn't go into this circle, just cut up to there, and of course put a hole in the middle. So I did that in the tutorial that I watched, it said like every two little grooves you make a cut, I just kind of went some of them have two grooves some of them have three I guess at the end of the day we'll see what happens so then take this wire and I put a bead at the bottom get it in I'm sure there's probably a better way to do this but I don't know how okay wrap it around this should be covered by the paper and then you take one at a time probably won't need this whole long metal piece but I'll cut it at the end and then you alternate so that one I put down and then this one I put up next one is that one goes up so that's the first little bit going to take some more of these. I'm not particularly counting how many I have but in the video I think she said she used 75 and it came out to be quite a decent size toy. So Here's the next bunch. Now this one I haven't poked a hole through. I want to see if this metal wire can just easily poke a hole through it. Okay. Oopsie. So it's important we give our birds toys that are, you know, different textures. Some days they'll want to spend more time chewing a block of wood. Other days they just want something really fun, quick and easy to shred. So even if you've got a larger bird and not like a love bird or budgie who you would think toys like this that's a lot softer for them to chew. Um, yeah, larger birds can also enjoy something like this. Okay, cut all my paper, now we're just gonna put it all on. Still alternating every time I put a new one on. I think this one goes this way. No? I'm just gonna cut this wire a bit shorter. It's a bit irritating. I don't actually know how short I have to cut it. I hope that wasn't too short. So this is what it's looking like so far. 
Look how nice and puffy that is. I wonder if at the end it'll be a bit like sturdy enough to actually hide little seeds and stuff in there. So here's what I've got with all the little muffin cups and then in the instructional video I saw she put um, something on the top to like push this down and give it some extra puffiness to sort of close at the top and make it more round. And yeah, I think that's it. So you could also maybe add some more little wooden blocks on here if you had any. Or you could add more muffin cups, you could add more beads, you could maybe add like cardboard if you had any of that at home. But yes, that's how to make a little paper cup poof. So in the video she didn't really show how to end it off. But I just took the wire and I bent it back into that other bead I did that and then from here I could add a string through that and hang it up in the cage like that